Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today, I'm going to show you how to import any of the Make Human 3D Avatar into Icron 8 and also the CC5 Creator Creator 5 to perform any of the 3D animations, make it become an I Avatar and CC Avatar. So start from now, I'm going to show you all the step by step from Make Human to Icron and CC5. All right, let's go. First, in the Make Human, I'm going to just create a fresh new avatar here and I'm going to just give her a cloth first click the geometry and just wait for a few seconds if you have so many cloth here Right next, I'm going to just back to the modeling and the weight. I'm going to just make her more skinny. And here, you can adjust the ethnicity. Next is the material. Just give her some material. So change the skin, and also give her a hair. I'm going to just choose from here Right, then next, give her a hair Then after that, the shoes. Choose from here. Choose the shoes. Done. Next, the, the first thing to export it, before that you just save it first. Click file, save. Choose a location. Choose the desktop. File name, just name this as model01, save. Export as FBX file. Export as FBX. Then choose the meter, centimeter. Just export. Choose a location. And I will choose the desktop. Click save. Now it exported as FBX file. Next, go to the CC4. Uh, sorry, this is CC5, the character creator 5. Press Ctrl G to look at the grid, drag in the FBX and export as character. A humanoid, just apply. But now you can see actually it doesn't have any of the bone yet. So we still need one more step. Just have a look. You not yet give the skeleton yet. At least give a skeleton first. Okay, 
All right, this is too small. So we don't want this. Data export as meter. But before that, just choose the meter. Go to the geometry as well. Sorry. Go to the post. And you need to select Select a default so that you give her a skeleton. Then what about the post? The post just choose the T post first. The post. Choose the T post. Done. Alright, next. Back to the file. For this time, export as meter. Export. You just try for CC4, import the FBX character, apply. Look at the scale first to see whether the meter is suitable or if not, we need to choose the decimate meter. So it is still too small. So just reset everything. Here, choose the decimeter. The scale unit decimeter is the most suitable one. Just export as the FBX. Alright, now the FBX is already here. Just drag in the character, apply. For this time, it should be better. The decimeter. So now this time, everything look normal. Alright, so the first step, we just need to plot the skeleton first. First is the head. What about this? We need to just look at the bone window, bone manager, to see which one is the head. This one. So plot the head. Then next is this part here. So this one, the leg, then lower, here, One should be here. The upper arm, the wrist, so the rest of the parts. You need to select here, from here. Then, now is the neck. Choose from up to down. Right enough. Next is the finger. The fingers. Another hand here. Right then. This one you can just ignore. All right. Next, just click active. 
create the characterization. The next part, we are going to adjust all of the material texture. Go to here. For all of this material texture, you need to generate the opacity map. Just right click copy and right click paste to just make it automatically generate the opacity map. For those already have the opacity, you can have See, now you already can see it clearly. Done. Now the last one is the hair. The hair, hair opacity map. We need to check it. Which one? Here. Just copy and paste it here. It should be okay now. It already have the opacity map now. Just use the same map. It's okay. Right now, next is the eyes. The eyes, you better just give some reflection, the roughness. Adjust it. The brightness. Just make it black so that the eyes will have certain reflection. It will look more realistic. Now, it will be better. Now, close it. Now, you already have have this avatar then just export just save this as a cc file click file save save the project as on the desktop model 01 make human female save now you have one next just click file export as i avatar for i clone Export on the desktop. The model 01 MH female eye avatar. Save it. Done. So now we are going to test it in iClone. So I'm going to just open the iClone. iClone 8.62. Alright, so this is the iClone 8. We are going to test the avatar just now. I press Ctrl G to look at the grid then. The eye avatar is at here. We are going to test some dancing animation. Some dancing animation, just for example, I choose from here. The animation, the motion, human female, perform some dancing animation. The air dance, have a look. Wow, everything performed well, and there's no penetration, no mesh penetration at here. Wow, that's really cool. Try another one, the dance gracefully. Have a look. Wow, that's really cool. If you just want to make a dancer, the animation. This is the Make Human 3D Avatar that I created from here. Everything look well. All right, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to import the Make Human 3D Avatar into the CC5, the Character Creator 5, and also the iClone 8.6 to make it become an an I Avatar, a CC Avatar to perform any of the 3D animation in iClone as well. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings. If you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!